Uh, hello there people, uh, this is Mr. Critic and you're watching my LP of Panzer General. So yeah, why, you know, postpone the inevitable? The time has come for Cobra. Um, this will only be a prologue because I believe since I also did a prologue for Berlin and Cobra is much more difficult, it deserves a prologue. And also, uh, it is Friday and I'm really tired because, you know, I spent the whole week working and some asshole punctured my front tire, uh, uh, punctured the front tire on my bicycle and I had to walk, you know, all the way from the center of the city and today I have walked for almost three hours and uh, now my knee hurts as hell and I do not feel, you know, like doing the opening moves of Cobra but tomorrow morning on Saturday when I am rested I will begin So, Cobra, the Allied break out from Normandy Uh, this is definitely the most difficult scenario of Panzer General. Uh, we have hidden units on because, you know, I want to show you everything, but when playing the game, we will turn them off. Also, I would like to thank you for being patient, you know, since I had to gather my courage to do this game, um, and especially Thank you, smart, smart Alec, my friend. My friend, sorry, uh, I'm really tired. Um, thank you, you know, for boosting my morale, you know, because, um, well, just take a look, people. This is the map. These are ground units. This is <coughs> what we are up against. And if this is not enough. Now check the air units. We have three fighters and, you know, we are facing... You know what the biggest problem with this scenario is? Usually, you know, like in D-Day or Berlin, you have some disadvantages to start with, but you also have some advantages. Um, like, I don't know, in Berlin, uh, your elite fighters um, as a German um, no jet fighters are better than the allied fighters and you can do something also you have a strong line of you know defense uh, but here actually our fighters have two stars of experience and the enemy has you guessed it, three stars of experience. Americans all have three st stars of experience. British some two stars, some three stars. And each of these planes, as you can see, here we are supposed to win, but with some casualties. But if we attack a Spitfire with three stars, we lose. <laughs> Um, actually, <coughs> I want to you know just to start tomorrow morning without doing this prologue and you know just say take a look at the now what video, but don't think it would be right, you know, since um, Cobra is Cobra. What I mean by it is um, this is the only scenario that when I was playing it for the first time and uh, when I was playing it for the first time it was after I have won the campaign had a major victory in Washington I was not a bad player not at all but when I first played uh, Cobra I was you know humiliated I was so utterly destroyed it was you know <coughs> And then I was talking uh, 
to some of my friends uh, here from Slovenia. By the way, we are hosting Euro Basket at the moment. I'm not really following the games, uh, the games, the matches. Uh, sorry, we have a similar word, you know, for games and matches, and. Our capital is full of, you know, people from other countries uh, who, you know, ha came here to support their, um, to support their basketball players and everything. Uh, where was I actually? Sorry, I for forgot it. Okay, Eurobasket, uh, nothing more about it. Uh, we're hosting it at the moment. Uh, the town is uh, the city, actually. Sorry, not the town, uh, but compared to you know to some <laughs> larger cities in the world, also our capital of Ljubljana is a town. But what I meant to say was, uh, I was talking with some friends after losing Cobra for the first time, and I mean losing uh, in capitals. Uh, and they uh, one of them told me, uh, "Well, trade space for time." And I was, okay, can you be more specific, perhaps? And then he told me, um, you need to retreat some of your ground units and wait for your air units to win. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then I realized after he was, you know, elaborating about his strategy more that he was talking about Cobra in a campaign mode. So yeah, Cobra is difficult even in the campaign mode. Eventually you win, of course, because of your 5 stars Fock Evolves, but even in the campaign mode it is difficult. And in a scenario mode I actually never met a person in my life who won it. I received some comments from some guy, I cannot remember his nickname, he told me that his father can do it, and he, that he did it, and I believe him, uh, of course it is possible, um, but you know, he told me that the way to go, uh, that the way his father does it is, you know, to attack, to attack what? I mean, for goodness sake, what do you want to attack? These ground units here? And with what? Okay, we, we have a Panther D here. Okay, we attack. Excellent result, huh? Or here. Or maybe we attack this Churchill. But it doesn't matter. Even if, you know, our first attack goes well. Check out here. Uh, you have Marauders. That are good enough, you know, to destroy even a Tiger 2 tank. Uh, I mean, not in a single attack. Uh, don't get me wrong, but you know, to damage it, cripple it, and then you you know you have some tanks and anti tanks that can finish the job. Especially these fireflies are extremely dangerous. You met them in Berlin, I believe. Initiative, pretty much the same as with our. Yeah, with our Panthers, one point below our Tiger 2s, they have lower ground defense values, much lower, but you know, if they fire at the same time, we are both damaged and the enemy has reserves, we don't. We have one Panther A here that we have to bring all the way you know, around here to join the battle, we have Panther D here and Tiger 2 behind the lines, and this really shitty Panzer 4J, it's not, uh, sorry, I'm getting upset a little bit, sorry, uh, it's not a shitty tank, I do not mean it's a shitty tank, but it's a medium tank, you know, it's really, if you at if we attack, you know, a Firefly, we lose, even without this artillery here, um, also this Panzer 4 Yeah, it is a solid uh, anti-tank, but it is in a medium class like this Panzer 4J. So we have like 
three elite tanks. Uh, this anti-tank is also good. But again, very good when attacking, bad at ground defense. And this Panther A is far away, you know, from where the action will be, you know, well, where all the action will take place. So, what I wanted to say was, <coughs> uh, I have lost the battle of two uh, when playing the scenarios. Uh, some are difficult. I told you I have lost did I on my first attempt because I didn't know I have to sorry I didn't know I have to hold at least two of the three victory objectives I thought one is enough but you know it wasn't a total devastation um, also in Berlin um, well actually I never lost Berlin but you know sometimes I was forced you know to only hold uh, the Berlin objective, all others were gone, and you know, even though in the end it said uh, Axis victory, uh, it didn't feel like it. Um, those of you who have watched uh, me defending Berlin, uh, I did it online Berlin plus 11 victory objectives, uh, which is good. I still think my best is. Berlin plus 13 but I'm not sure it was a long time ago so here we have this hopeless map the enemy is better in, exper in experience in numbers in everything and still we have to win and we have one two three four victory objectives Now I need a little pause, when I come back I will tell you how I will deal with this, but this is only theory of course, so mm, give me a second, um, I need another glass of beer, <laughs> but tomorrow morning no beer, no beer, uh, too difficult to play even when sober, <laughs> be right back. Ok, uh, so your Barbie girl is back, <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, as you can probably see, even though we have some very difficult terrain here, we cannot hold the allies for more than a turn, when, ex when if extremely lucky, two turns. Also here, we will need to move, you know, our units out of the range of artilleries, or perhaps you know, I forgot how exactly I was dealing uh, with this scenario the first time I won it, but at least once I think I have sacrificed the pioneers to attack and then, you know, since they are a very expensive target, they uh, the, uh, the enemy attacked with the artilleries our pioneers, or so also, sorry, also with the air fleet, but for the moment I'm not sure. And uh, here, actually, even though it is a non-victory objective, it is very important to hold it. So, it is almost 100% sure that I will bring this naval warfare here to protect uh, the inf and the air defense and also probably purchased a uh, JP elephant or a yacht panther here. <coughs> but the main problem is here. We need to bring this tiger to close as soon as possible, establish a sort of a defensive circle with tanks and anti-tanks, you know, um, on the outer side of this circle, uh, inside air defenses and artilleries. And this means also bringing, you know, this Nash Horn and uh, this Panther A close. Uh, this battle is even more anticlimactic than um, Berlin and D Day. 
since if we survive the first I would say four five turns uh, then we'll win uh, by survival I mean if the circle here will hold uh, having said that um, I don't think it is possible for anyone no matter how much experienced in strategic games to win Cobra on the very first try because a large part of winning uh, a large part you know of knowing how to win comes from knowing what the enemy will do and if the enemy was smart enough you know to concentrate all the air forces and most of the ground forces to destroy this circle and then go for the victory objective since I believe we have like uh, let me check we have 25 turns more doggies I think I need my shotgun Ow! this is for you Carl okay but uh, if the enemy was smart enough you know to focus uh, on my circle here that I will form and then go for the four victory objectives then I think well, you cannot win whatever you do, but if we can make the enemy to cut the units in half and send one towards the victory objective of Nantes and the other half to attack the circle, then and so far I uh, think this is the only way, but if somebody has a better solution, please tell me, I'm always willing to learn so this is the way to go and by destroying a lot of enemy units around the circle also the air units of course since we will have plenty of air defenses in the area and also our fighters will help we'll get enough prestige to purchase here um, Yacht Panthers, JP Elephants also in time a tank since we will have to deal with the enemy tanks um, so probably a Tiger 2 will be placed here soon and um, yeah this is the way to go this is the way the way to go um, I wanted to say so many things but now I keep forgetting um, yeah like I said um, this is the only strategy I have come up with to win this battle but even you know with all the preparations it doesn't work every time uh, all the other battles in Panzer General are winnable in at least 99% of the time but this one isn't uh, I think 80 to 90 percent of the time you can win with this but not when doing an LP you know when you are si sitting at home <laughs> taking your time scratching your ass you know <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh, but um, if you are very unlucky you lose no matter what you do mm, good beer uh, so like I said, this is a prologue. Oh, one more thing. Um, I have won uh, this battle, I think, once when I tried it with hidden units on. Uh, but, no, hidden units off. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. Um, by doing um, the scenario this way, that I can see all of the units and the enemy can see all of the units but this means that the fighters would have to stay way out of range since every time they are in range you know uh, the allied air fleet would just attack them and destroy them so it is <coughs> one of the scenarios uh, which is you know 
much easier to win <coughs> if you don't see the enemy units and the enemy does not see your units ah uh -huh, okay as for the weather i believe it is mostly fair and dry throughout the entire scenario so it really does not make a difference mm, what else uh, yeah I think this is basically it so even though I believe the stories of some people who are sending me you know yeah I want this or I don't know my father want this uh, <coughs> give me when you tell this to me give me you know a couple of words about the approach about the approach that makes sense you know because <coughs> <coughs> sorry need a little pause uh yo i'm back um sorry coughing a lot also probably the result of me walking today for almost three hours um, i'm not that young anymore uh, but like I said, um, if you're telling me uh, you or somebody else you have watched won this game, uh, this scenario, tell me about the approach. If you tell me, you know, uh, you just have to attack, you know, like crazy, uh, I will not call you a liar, but I will call you a bullshitter, you know, since in this game unlike Berlin where, y where you can actually you know go into the offensive on the very first turn and sometimes even win uh, here you do not have the air cover you know for your good tank units and the marauders and also the British uh, airplanes like Typhoon here and the Mosquito will you know cut you to pieces so um, even the best tanks like Tiger 2 have to be under some sort of a cover uh, by the air defenses. Okay, so I know I'm giving you a really short... Short? No. Small uh, time period, uh, time window, I'm, I'm not sure. But, you know, uh, it is Friday late afternoon early evening and I will start probably tomorrow morning so if you have a anything important to say please comment uh, uh, no I will read it uh, but like I said uh, this is I believe this scenario was made by the makers of Panther General you know uh, to be impossible to win um, this is my guess I'm not sure if I'm right um, and yeah also I'm sure that I'm not the only one who has won it before um, but I hate false modesty you know um, it takes a really good player and also some luck or at least you know not to get unlucky to win it um, I believe you know I'm a realist regarding uh, Panzer General uh, you have to be extremely good to win it without cheating of course but even with cheating you know it takes some time because you know um, even if you I don't know load reload then again reload but if you have placed your units incorrectly uh, you will lose uh, what else to say uh, well nothing actually I believe this is it one funny thing I have to add tomorrow in the afternoon I'm actually meeting with my cousin the one that introduced me to this game it is a coincidence but you know it is funny uh, I'm facing uh, the most difficult test for 
every Panzer General player and now I'm, you know, meeting my maker. <laughs> Not really the maker, you know, but somebody, but, you know, the, the one, the one that showed me this game and um, poisoned me, you know, <laughs> with it. Uh, okay. A beautiful scenario ahead of us, an extremely difficult one. Uh, yeah, and one more thing. Uh, I can actually lose this one. Uh, I, uh, I have to tell you this, you know, uh, before we start. I can lose this one. Uh, there is, you know, uh, in Berlin I got, you know, scared a couple of times, but for a minor victory, I was sure I will get it, but uh, this scenario I can actually lose it. Um, if there is somebody out there that can win it every time, well, you know my respect. I bow to you. But for myself, I can tell you, uh, I'm not sure if I will win. I give myself like I don't know six to 40 you know 60 for winning 40 to losing or maybe if I'm feeling you know very 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 uh, optimistic 70 to 30 um, because it is an LP you know um, if I was just sitting you know at home taking three hours for every <laughs> move I make then it would be like 90% but as an LP 70 to 30 but I think this is too optimistic actually. Okay, I was babbling long enough. Uh, tomorrow I will start with this LP of Cobra. Uh, again, smart Alec, thank you. Uh, thank you. I was feeling down, you know. <laughs> I was so scared to start this shit, but you showed me the way. Thank, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Uh, you're something else. You're really special. Uh, and the rest of you also. But you know, I. You know what I mean. Uh, Smart Alec uh, is a really good friend of mine. Uh, not just, you know, in the internet, thank you, my friend, but he helped me a lot of times. <laughs> He's a good guy. I'm still hoping, you know, for him to publish his own LP of Panzer General. And I would be the first to subscribe to it, you know. <laughs> okay, now I'm getting all mushy. Forget it, forget it. Uh, uh, thank you for watching this. All the best from Mr. Critic and bye-bye.